So today I'm concluding the series that I began a few weeks ago called Solid Rock or Sinking Sand. And of course, we were referring right back to this parable that we find in the Sermon on the Mount, where Jesus talks about two types of people. I call them rock dwellers and sand dwellers. And rock dwellers build their house on a rock, and sand dwellers build their hand, house on the sand. And Jesus said this, he who hears the word and does it is like the wise man who builds his house on the rock. And he who hears the word and doesn't do it is like the fool who builds his house upon the sand. And then it says, and don't miss it, and then it says, and when the storms come. Doesn't say if. It's not a matter of if storms are going to come. It's when the storms are going to come. And when the storms come, and when the rain comes, and when the wind comes, the house built on the sand will fall, and the fall of that house shall be great. I'm always amused when I look in Scripture how many stories there are about storms. Of course, we all know about the big one, Noah's storm, 40 days and 40 nights, but that's not the only storm story in Scripture. Well, how about Jonah? Jonah was a storm story, right? I mean, he was in that storm, they threw him overboard. He got swallowed by a fish. It's a great story, kind of like Pinocchio, but it's, it's a great story. And then, then you look at Paul. Paul has this dramatic storm, storm story in the book of Acts, right, where they are shipwrecked on the island of Malta, and of course, everybody escapes from, from this storm. And then, then you look at Jesus and his disciples. I, I don't know what's going on here. You read the Gospels, and every couple of chapters, Jesus sends his disciples out on the Sea of Galilee into a storm. It was like he was doing it on purpose. And he'd cross over to the other side. And not only did he go off into a storm, he went and curled up on a pillow and went to sleep. I'm thinking, is he just messing with them? You know, <laughs> they wake him up. Master, do you not care that we are perishing? What was he doing? What was with all the storms? I'll tell you what. He told us why. Because he said, when the storms come. And he was preparing these guys for life. And he was preparing them for adversities. And he was preparing them for the storms of life. They were going to be no good in ministry to him if they did not know how to handle the storms and the adversities of life. Because it's not if the storms are going to come, people. It's when the storms are going to come. I know some of you in this room will be familiar with G.K. Chesterton, the Christian intellect from some years ago. He was in this debate with a skeptic, and the moderator asked them this question. They said, if you were stranded on a desert island, well, and you could only have one book with you, which book would you want? And his, his opponent said, the complete works of William Shakespeare. And everybody expected G.K. Chesterton to say... Yeah, to say the Bible, but that's not what he said. He said, Thompson's Complete Guide to Boat Building. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's all about wisdom, right? 